317 brought a noticeable performance increase for Star Citizen. Nonetheless, I always seek to squeeze out every bit Seer of performance out of my, my build when it comes to running the game. So today, I wanted to showcase a tool I'm using to make Star Citizen work best on my current Alder Lake i7-12700 oh. CPU and okay. 3060 Ti so GPU. First effect. of all, I'm in no way associated with the tools I'll talk about. and um, First off, let me just shout out Planet uh, Wally. I love this kid. Why am I not subscribed to him? And I'm going to like this. Here's here's a video that should probably have, you know, 10 times the amount of views. This guy's got a lot of subscribers, right? But he just broke into the Star Citizen scene with really good tutorials. And the type of tutorials that are like tech tutorials that will help you upgrade your performance, uh, give you a, an experience of VR. It's, it doesn't have that three-dimensional, three-dimensionality, uh, but it does give you a guide in which you can put on a headset and play the game in that environment without like the, the depth. You know, it's like strapping a TV to your face, but it, <laughs> but you do get that effect when you have the headset on. The, and, and so Planet Wally, I think, uh, is doing good work here. In this video, he's going to tell us how to maximize CPU performance. Let's check it I'm out. not sponsored in any way by them. In fact, I'm myself oh, I using love Cobra a freeware TV, version dude. of the software. I love Cobra TV. So the software is called Process Lasso. Don't support them. <laughs> and in I addition to providing Cobra's a funny, clear dude. picture of what's running where, it also enables you to have a yeah. more fine-grained control of how your computer resources are assigned to processes. Okay, let's, let's so take our game So after some testing, better. I found that with my current setup, I get the best performance performance by ensuring that Alder Lake's efficiency cores are not utilized for Star Citizen yeah. and also running the process with hyper-threading off. While you can disable the e-cores and hyper-threading at the BIOS level, Process Lasso lets you retain those features for the rest of your Windows processes but disable them for Star Citizen specifically. Additionally, Process Lasso jumps in on, and Dylan? sets these settings prior to, to easy anti-cheat kicking in and blocking the ability to set priority or affinity on the Star Citizen executable. So, okay, so let's start by starting Star Citizen. And after you start Star Citizen, this guy's great. Process Lasso I love going. This stuff. And take a look at the CPU affinity by right clicking on both the Star Citizen Good God, how many cores and the does Star that thing Citizen have? That's ridiculous. EXE. And as you can see, all CPU cores are being used, including <laughs> the efficiency it's crazy. cores. crazy, 19 Now, what cores? we want to do is go what? to CPU Affinity, always, and disable hyper-threading. I do it for both the Star Citizen Launcher and the Star Citizen Executable. This guy's so you will chill. see that it immediately affects the Star Citizen Launcher, but the Star Citizen Executable will not actually get changed until you restart the game entirely. You can also set the CPU priority to be high, which you yeah, no longer can do directly from Windows because easy entry blocks I want to see, see the We still are I using all the cores, that. but always it is he set to a little use bit like only the eight primary performance cores. Now, right. once you restart Star Citizen, it will take effect. Let's start with 1080p. Oh, good. He does a comparison. On the left, you will see all CPU cores being used, and on the right, you'll see hyper threading off with the e-cores being turned off. So immediately you can see the FPS is higher on the hyper threading off. It was interesting because it was actually lower until he started moving around. So in a static state, the frames were better with the CPU cores used, whereas like action moving, that makes sense because there's more work needed to be done by the processors. On the right hand side, as action starts up, I, I saw it get a bit higher window. and especially look at the 99 percent uh frame rate it's significantly ah, higher okay than i that see of i see using all the cores yeah 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 i see that uh, and it's also noticeable when walking around that there's some choppiness and stuttering uh, when all the co cpu cores are yeah. being used yeah I noticed now, that let's too. take a look at 1440p, and here again we're going to be How many hitting of you guys are in 1080 full and utilization of the 3060 Press 1 if you're doing 1080, so press 2 if you're doing 1440. 1080p and 1440p were actually bottlenecked by the GPU. So 
there's not as much difference here at 1440p uh, in terms of the frame rates, but you could still see, by 600. especially on the 99% FPS, 1440 some um, notable decrease when all cores are being 1440 used. 1440 for horses as well. See, cores. yeah, man. But the most noticeable I'm thinking about switching is it actually up. Yeah, when you would put the doing game 1440. into 720p. And that's where there's no GPU bottleneck. So essentially we're letting the CPU um, do all of its work. And quickly <laughs> you'll see the frame rates are very significantly different. Uh, we're hitting about 180 frames per second on hyper-threading offside, and we're hitting 150, 160 frames on the all CPU cores side. And again, take a look at the 99% FPS. Wow. We have about 40 FPS on all cores, and we're having wow. significantly higher frame rates when the hyper threading. That was and the e that was a huge increase. That was so, almost a 30% increase in frame rates. Uh, I did the math in my head there. I'm smart like that. That was literally a 30% increase when dealing with movement and actions. Thank you, Planet Wally, for doing this. I'm doing this for a shout out. A lot of people get upset and they go, we are just taking his content and you're just making it your own content. No, I'm sharing this because it only has 800 views. So for all the trolls out there, I'm trying to help Planet Wally out. He's commented on my videos before where we go over the content that he makes. And he says, thank you, DG. Thank you for helping me out. And I pin those comments. You know, I pin those comments from the creators all the time from people who just continually bitch and moan and troll the shit out of me and say, oh, DG, you're just taking the content, you're plagiarizing it. And they don't understand that the intent is first, I'm interested in the content. Second is that I'm helping the person out because I link every highlight with credits of the person and tell them, go subscribe to this person. Why am I doing that? Because this video only has 893 views. <laughs> like, can you imagine? You get a 30% boost in performance and nobody knows how to do it because the YouTube algorithm won't even put this information out there because Planet Wally is not concerned with Americana corporatism. He's more concerned about the people of the community, the way that YouTube actually cared about the community to start is Planet Wally's Planet Wally's hits it's his ideology is to help people. He's rooted in the community. He's a member of our community, and I'm here to shout him out, to help him out, to be the new YouTube algorithm. So go over to Planet Wally's, go subscribe. He does wonderful tutorials, and they're usually tech-oriented, like 10 pound 42, and he's a nice dude. So go help him out. Do it. 